Um, I am Mr. Paradeni Okokondem. In this Second Republic of Biafra, lived by Mazin Nam de Kalo, and his IPOB government of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Salmon Ekpa. Long live Mazin Nam de Kalo. Long live Oduduwa Republic and their leader, Sondi Bohu. Long live Arewa Republic and whosoever will be their leader. Long live Finland that accommodates Salmon Ekpa and other people. Long live uh, 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 Donald Trump and the Netanyahu. Long live uh, Putin and Russia. Long live uh, 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 Netanyahu and Israel. God, I commit Nigeria into your hand. Let your will be done in Nigeria, not the will of man. I thank God for our fans all over the world. God grant them good health, long life, and prosperity. I cannot mention their name. There are so many. But God bless all of them and give them good health in Jesus' name. Uh, Simon Ekpa has come out to accuse um, the Nigeria um, government or, or army of, of um, sharing his uh, hand bill, sharing his, um, his pictures, you know, just to, just to sabotage, the, sabotage him, you know, just to make him look as if he's a bad person. That kind of um, Simon Ekpa, for them to say Simon Ekpa came out to accuse is a lie. Someone Ekpa not only accusing, what someone Ekpa say is reality. Someone Ekpa is not accusing them. Someone Ekpa speak the reality. I saw the pamphlet by myself on one of the social medium where they printed it, sharing it in, in our back, telling them that someone Ekpa, they printed it in English, they printed it in broken, they printed it in, in Igbo, in one pamphlet. They share them to everybody that someone Ekpa is the problem, someone Ekpa is the one that holding them, they can in detention. Someone Ekpa is the one causing insecurity. Someone Ekpa don't want their business to grow. Accusing him to blaspheme him, to make him to look as enemy of his people. They don't see as the Kubo that are killing people, carry asaware asaware from rivers to Imbo State, killing people. They don't see that one. Nigeria we don't see that one. Okay, look at Wike destroying Imbo man property. In Abuja, is someone Ekpa doing that one? A whole estate destroying it. And to say, how can this type of land allocated to Igbo man? Is someone Ekpa the one doing it? They are portraying him to be enemy of his people. Is someone Ekpa that killed in a, 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 a Kokoto? Is someone Ekpa in Nigerian army killing in, in a, a Kokoto in a Olo area? Is someone Ekpa wearing Nigerian army camouflage killing in Oso? In Imo State. Is Nigerian, someone Ekpa, Nigerian army, wearing uniform, killing in Okigwe? Is, is it Nigerian, is, is it someone Ekpa, is that? Is it someone Ekpa, went to Bayasa recently, killed in, in Okoma, killed in Bayasa? Is it someone Ekpa? Who is doing it? Someone Ekpa wearing Nigerian camouflage, doing that. And this is the same Nigerian army, at, at doing all this campaign. This is to show that Nigerian men have failed. They have failed, they have nothing to do again. They do, do, do publicity, publicizing someone Ekpa. We know whom is whom. Even people who do not know whom someone Ekpa is, because there are some people who never know, they will have these pamphlets now and read whatever they wrote against someone Ekpa. Because of this, it will attract them to know who someone Ekpa is. It will attract them. It will attract them to know who, know who someone Ekpa is. If they come to know someone Ekpa, they will, they will go into his profile to know what he's doing. From there, they will verify someone Ekpa that he's a good man, that he's a lover of the people. That people, you see, coming water, APC chief trainer. What is his name again? Uh, um, his name is um, Yekini Nebena. Yekini Nebena. What he talk is reality. Without minding that he's a member of that party. He said the truth. That's the type of people we want in Nigeria. You see, really, before Tulumbu came to power, Naira, Dollar and Naira ha haven't been in this condition. Dollar haven't swallowed Naira so much. Although in the time of Jonathan, I think it was uh, 180 or so. Before the time of uh, Buhari, it, it goes up to, I think, 500 or so. Now it's 1,000 something, which means it was in Buh the Tulumbu regime that the dollar clamped up where Naira cannot be able to reach. It's one, one, 
I think before it was 1,500 or so, or 1,900. Now, as the man said, you know, Tulumbu is a po political Maradona. Tulumbu is a political dribbler. He knows how to play number 10 in the field of poli politics. He can dribble you, dribble you, dribble you. He will score you and you will still be happy with him that he scored you. That's his life. It's not easy to beat Tulumbu. What the man said, baby, really? When Tulumbu enters, things were out of hand, but not extraordinary. So he, uh, he may, as the man will say, he may allow the dollar to go high. Naira cannot meet it, so that at the end he will bring it down, and Nigeria will praise him that he's doing work. That's it. That's it. That's it. He can do it. But the dollar and Naira is not the only ultimatum of governance. It's not the only ultimatum of leadership. Naira and dollar competition belong to importers. Belong to businessmen. What of common electricity that we need? Can Tulubu put it in order? What of infrastructure? Can Tulubu put it in order? What of the Ewa, Agbado, Maize, Corn, Beans, Cassava? He promised us in his campaign. He promised all these things. Where are they? Where are they? He invests in agriculture. People will go and do mechanize. You employ people. Open land. Employ people. Let them go and do farming. So that a Ewa, cassava, agbado, uh, yam, we can be able to get. That's all our local production. It's only potential. We can be able to get it. Okay, is it only dollar and naira is the good governance? What of insecurity? Why can't he stop it? Is it only dollar and naira is the good governance? Why not stop army killing innocent people in Biafra land? Killing innocent people in Okoma? If anybody commit crime, do investigation, fetch that person out. Not when you go, you level the whole community, level the whole town before, in, before investigation. No! It's bad! So there are so many, ways, so many things to do in Nigeria that doesn't require naira and dollar competition. You understand? I could remember when Idiagbo Buhari, when Buhari Idiagbo took over from Shagari, that time Naira was two Naira 50 Kobo to one dollar. Because in 1979, Obasanja handed over to Shagari 75 Kobo to one dollar. 75 Kobo, not to one Naira. 75 Kobo, 100 Kobo make up one Naira. But this was 75 Kobo to one dollar. Then. They make it, civilians make, made it that time, two naira, 50 kobo to one dollar. When Buhari, Idebo enter, America beg for five naira to one dollar. Idebo Buhari said no, we don't need do dollars here. We are not using dollars, what we are using is naira. What, what made me to bring this in? I don't know why dollar should be issue of Nigeria. We are not using dollar in Nigeria. What are using in Nigeria is naira. If we have enough food, dollar will fall by himself. If we won't go to farm, if they manage our resources well, dollar will fall by itself. You don't need to go to asking regulation of dollar. Let me, President Ahmed Tulumbu, the president of Nigeria, go back to land. Let him go back to land. Not depending in oil. Not depending on dollar. That's the problem of Nigeria. One, we depend on oil. Two, we depend on dollar. We have other mineral resources which are not tapped. And if they are tapping, it is on the individual. Like gold in Zafara, gold in Ileife, mineral resources in Medugri. They will use Boko Haram, pursue occupants of the land off, begin to dig it. They are bandit where they know about it. They want to push people away and start digging it. With, the, with the foreign machineries, they are doing it. Say so insecurity. Who created insecurity? Why did insecurity be there? Let them do all this necessary. Dollar will fall. Dollar will fall. You understand? 
So, um, depending on dollar or yen, it's feeling less. And now, now some families are using firewood now. Some families are using firewood now. Are they using no more crazy? Poor man cannot buy crazy in Nigeria now. Poor man cannot buy crazy in Nigeria. No electricity. How do you want investors to come and invest? When you when you, you make have available electricity, investors will come and invent. Invent. Then people will have employment. When people have employment, everything will be coming down. If I have employment now, I can take care of my family. If you have employment, you can take care of your family. And the employment doesn't mean it must surely be Western world the uh, 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 manufacturing system. Let us go back to, to back to land first. Let go. I'm not saying that we should go back to traditional farming. Let it be a mechanized farming, where you can, if you're a graduate, you can employ a graduate. When you employ a graduate and pay him, let's say, uh, 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 fifty thousand a month, and that a graduate can be able to use ten thousand in a month and save, okay, twenty thousand and save thirty thousand. You know that you'll be growing. Then you pay a graduate uh, 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 hundred thousand. He, he, he spend the one hundred fifty thousand in a month. How can he cope? How can he cope? You understand? If we don't have work on our job, let us go back. And the, the local people that are ready to fabricate, who are in fabrication line, like people like me, no assistance. We will continue to depend on dollar and naira for what, what they have manufactured. Let us, we have technicians. Let us encourage them. Small scale industry. Let us encourage them. Not only Naira and, uh, 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 and Dollar. What are you going to use the Naira and Dollar to do? If you have Naira and Dollar and there's no goods to buy, what is the need of it? That's why we are dying. That's why we are in hunger. May God save us in Jesus' name. Amen. 